Hi everyone, my name is Günther Eigner and I'm a researcher on the future of skiing. Today I want to talk to you about how winter temperatures in the Alps have developed over the last 50 years. We analyzed data from 12 mountain weather stations in the Alps, mostly at summit locations. Starting from the west, the stations are as follows. In Switzerland, the Great St. Bernard Pass, the Jungfraujoch in the Bernese Alps, the Sentis and the Weißfluhjoch near Davos. Then Obergurgel in the Austrian Ötztal region, the Zugspitze, also known as the top of Germany, the Batschakofel near Innsbruck, the Schmittenhöhe in Salzburg, the famous observatory at the summit of the Hoher Somblik mountain, the Villacher Alpe in Carinthia, the Feuerkogel in Upper Austria and the Schöckel near Graz. The average altitude of these mountain stations is about 2400 meters. The data was collected from national weather services from Switzerland, Germany and Austria. Let's have a look at the chart together. On the x-axis there are 50 winter seasons from 1971-72 to 2020-21. On the y-axis we see the average winter temperature of the 12 analyzed mountain stations. The chart does not show the absolute temperature of each season. It shows the anomaly of each winter compared to the 50-year average. Winters that have been warmer than the 50-year average are shown in red, whereas colder than average winters are shown in blue. The mildest winter was the 1989-90 season. This winter was 3.1 degrees Celsius warmer than the 50-year average. Next in the ranking are the warm winters of 2006-07 and 2019-20. The winter of 1980-81 was the coldest, with a negative anomaly in temperature of 2.8 degrees, followed by the winter of 2009-10 with a temperature drop of 2.3 degrees. The green line shows the 10-year moving average. We can see cold winters at the end of the 1970s and in the start of the 1980s. Then. Temperatures suddenly increased by more than 2 degrees. After coming to a peak at the start of the 1990s, winter temperatures drop again, about 2 degrees Celsius. Over the last 10 years we have been in a phase of mild winters, but those winters have only been 0.4 degrees warmer than the 50-year average. The linear trend shows a slight increase of 0.7 degrees, which is not statistically significant. What does that mean? If a test result is not significant, it is because there has been no effect or an existing effect could not be proven. In other words, over the past 50 years there has been no provable shift in winter temperatures in summit locations in the Alps. There is an astonishing contrast between official measurements and public opinion. The winter sports industry needs to inform people about snow and temperature developments. Otherwise there is a risk of people losing hope in the future of skiing.